Hey guys, welcome to Onfire Roblox Scripting, and this is kind of like a bonus video to the updated working shop series. Um, so this video is just going to show you how to like simply add in more items to the shop because um, it may or may not be confusing for some people uh, in part three. So this is just going to break it down into like a step by step tutorial. So whenever we want to add in a new item to our existing shop, the first thing we need to do is make the new UI. So what we can do is go under our shop UI into the shop frame. And the first thing we need to do is create a new button. So for example, I can just take this classic sword button, control D to duplicate it. And then um, let's say the next item I want to add in is a key card. So then I'll just rename this to key card. And then I come back to the main UI. I can take this new UI. I'm just going to drag it down until I like its position. So probably somewhere right there. So once you have that down, you just want to open up the frame because we need to change a few things about it. So the first thing is the text label. This is what the text is saying. So you just want to change that to like your item. So in this case, this is going to be a key card, just like that. And then you also want to change your image, which I already explained how to do in part one. But basically under the properties of image under here, you can click add image to add in your own image. Okay, so this is just some random image I found in the toolbox. So uh, if I like close my UI right now, that would be this key card right here. Um, so yeah, so you just want to insert your image into like your image button. And then that's all you have to do for the buttons. And then what you want to do is go under the informations, and just click a random one, just duplicate it. We have to rename this again. So this is going to be called key card info like that. And under the key card info, just open it up and we need to change like the same things. So the image label, we're going to put in the same image just like that. And then the cost is how much you want the item to cost. So let's say this key card is going to cost $1,000 and under the text, I'm just going to change it to like $1,000. And then the title, this is no longer a flashlight. So I'm just going to change that to a key card. And that's all you have to do for the button and information. So once you have all of your UI done, now we can go into the scripting part. So the first one is going to be the tool handler. So this script is the one we inserted under the serve script service It's just tool handler. So whenever we add a new item into the shop, we have to create its own listing inside the dictionary. So to do that, just after the last listing, put in a comma, then uh, if you're a little bit lazy, you can just like copy the whole thing. And then inside the quotation marks, we're going to change uh, the text into your new item. So this is just going to be simply called key card. And then here, this is where you actually set the price. So this is going to be 1000. And then over here, you might see it says like tool is game .replicate storage, um, flashlight. So this is like where the physical location of the tool is. So what you want to do is you want to go back into the Explorer. So over here, I have my key card and you want to make sure that that's just under the replicate storage. And then that's going to go under the tools. Just make sure that it's inside the same folder with all the other tools. And then you can come back over here into the regular script. So instead of flashlight, this is going to be the, the SCP card level four. Like I said earlier, this is just a random key card I found in the toolbox earlier. So that's all you have to do for the server script side of the scripts. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go back into the information. So under the key card info, we're going to open up a buy. And then we have to modify this buy item script. So just double click on that and over here under flashlight. We need to change that to match with the server. So under the server, we have as key card. So just double click that, copy that, go back into buy item and then just make sure that whatever's inside the quotation marks so that it matches with the server. And then the very last thing we have to do is we need to go back into the shop button handler and we just need to add its listing into uh, the open button functions. So under the buttons, it's going to be a local. And then we called it the key card. So local key card button equals to shop dot buttons dot key card dot image button. And then we're going to create another one for its own frame. So local key card frame equals to shop dot information dot key card info, just like that. So now we have added the key cards, buttons and frames. 
then what we can do is just like copy one of these functions so we're just going to change that into the key card button and then open frames is going to be the key card frame and that is all we have to do um, to add in a new item into the shop so let's go test it out all right so here i am inside the game and you know we can click on any of these and it will pop up as its own item uh, if i buy classic sword um that will still go into my inventory this doesn't interfere with the other items uh, however if i go to, to like key card i can still buy the item just like that i de i get deducted the right amount of cash and i now have uh, the key card so yeah that is how you add new items into the shop that we have created uh if you found this helpful make sure to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you guys next time bye